I am Dr. Yash Mathur. I am head and neck surgical oncologist with HCG Cancer Center, Mumbai, the Borivali unit. Today, I am going to bring across a unique case which came to us last year, and patient had stage two cancer of palate. The disease was present on the hard palate and going on posteriorly up to the soft palate initially. Patient was treated at a tertiary care center outside adequately by giving radiation. So there was nothing wrong in the treatment plan. It was executed to the perfection. But as we all are aware that head and neck cancers are very aggressive locally. These cancers, they tend to come back so regular follow-up is very important so this patient came to us after getting treated adequately at another center outside with a residual disease two months after finishing the radiation patient came to us with a three centimeter growth on the palate on biopsy we confirmed the diagnosis that yes there is still cancer present which is squamous cell so the only option left with me at this stage was to treat the patient surgically. So with due tumor board discussion and process, we decided to go ahead for the salvage surgery. And on PET scan, we identified that there was only lesion restricted to the palate. There was no cervical node metastasis. There was no metastasis of the disease in the neck. So the plan was devised there were certain challenges that I had faced during this surgery and more so I was thinking about the patient's functional outcome. Since this surgery is going to be morbid for the patient, extensive pre-operative counseling with the patient was done. What he will face and what he has to come out of. The patient was a very strong candidate. He understood what he has to go and undergo and we did a surgical resection for this patient that included removal a part of his upper palate bone his soft palate bone and some alveolus that is the tooth bearing area of the maxilla that is the upper jaw so the chance the risk that we had in this area was since this was a radiated field there was always a possibility of having post operative infection delayed healing the reconstruction was done using microvascular flap hence also a possibility that the location is such that flap may not survive because of the anatomical location and the contour and the vessel vessel may have thrombosis so there were a lot of challenges that we had with this patient also there were critical structures nearby that included maxillary sinus the opening of the nasal cavity there is persistent secretions coming through these areas which can further delay the healing or cause some infection. So we took up this challenging surgery and patient came out very beautifully. He was not only discharged in the stipulated time of within a week but also recovered well. His speech and swallowing status thanks to the rehabilitation team was excellent and patient is now swallowing food solid semi-solid without any help without any rile stew without any help this has given patient a good quality of life so these salvage surgeries are possible but my message that i want to pass even with the best of the treatment and best of the hands there is possibility that cancer may recur or there might be a residual cancer left so what is of prime importance is to understand that regular follow-up with your oncologist will give you the correct direction. Like in this case, patient came to us and we guided the patient. Yes, it is still possible to cure you out of the cancer and patient is following up with us now for one year. There is no recurrence. Patient is having a decent mouth opening, decent speech and he is leaving cancer free till now. So my message to all the cancer patients who have undergone treatment and who are on follow-up is even though if there is a recurrence or any kind of challenge that you face, do not miss your follow-up. Early detection is the key even in recurrence as well as in treatment naive patients. 
if there is a patient that has been diagnosed for the first time, he is treatment naive. Early detection is the key that gives the best prognosis and best outcome.